What's up, everybody? It's Sea Bass with Bass and Beer Radio, and our boy to the right, Riverboat Rob. Oh, he's turning around, checking something. What is it, Riverboat oh. Rob? I mean, I got, a, I got like a. Del- Probably got to exit out of that on the computer behind you. Think so? Maybe. But uh, what's up, y'all? We got Frank in the house. We got Dan in the house. What's up, guys? Um, man, I don't know if you noticed, bro, but t-shirts are in the house. We got the t-shirts in super stoked about that. I'm actually really pumped on the quality. Like I had never ordered t-shirts before. So it was like, all right, how are these going to come in? Are they going to feel good? Like I did see the shirts we were going to buy before, um, I bought them, but I didn't wear them like per se. And I didn't know, like you can definitely get different qualities of print on the shirt. And these are phenomenal, dude. Like, absolutely love these. What's up, Brian? Brian Dyson in the house. What up, Brian? Can you hear me good now, Chad? I can hear you good. It was a delay. You were probably right because I had it up here. But I had it up there so I could see the comments. But apparently, that's you're going to have to read the comments. You probably could have just muted it and it would have worked. I mean, I can bring it back up, dude. We can bring it back up. We'll give it a couple minutes, see who gets on. Yes, Brian sir. Dyson on. Who do you say? Frank, Brian, Dan? Frank Malik, Dan, Brian. Oh, nice. What's up, fellas? So we're hanging out. Um, we have some we have some unexpected topics tonight. And yeah. we have some normal topics tonight. Um for the normal no comments showing. What do you mean, Dan? Guess what um, he's saying when he type a comment. They... For the normal topics that we have tonight, we're going to talk about a little bit of tin boat builds because you guys know that Riverboat Rob has been tearing into his boat, getting that ready for the fishing season. Uh, I can see the stress in your face already just talking about it. It's almost and uh, we're going to talk, might get into a little bit of uh, pre spawn bass fishing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, today in um, in our neck of the woods was very catastrophic, insane almost. Like, what the hell? Like, of course, nobody expected that this morning. And I, uh, I grew up on the Patapsco River, dude. I well, I grew up on Bear Creek, on a tributary off of uh. Off of Bear Creek called, and now everybody gets mad when I say this name, but this is what the freaking river was called. That's what they called it, Chink Creek. That was the name of the freaking tributary off of Bear Creek. That's where I grew up, right around the corner from from the Key Bridge. And, um, well, I'm sure everybody knows Key Bridge collapsed today. A ship ran into yeah. it. How insane, dude. So insane. Like, I still can't believe, like, there's no Key Bridge there no more. It's ridiculous. It's totally insane, man. It blew my brain. Like I, I my, I, I did. I woke up this morning and it was like four thirty, and I got in the van at like five, and like was headed to work, and like all I heard, like I tune on ninety eight rock every morning when I head into work. Listen to this guy geek out on ninety eight rock, and uh, they're just like, oh yeah, there was a collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, like maybe a eighteen wheeler hit something and a part of the pavement fell off the side or something. So they got a lane shut down and then like, Hey, what's up, Russell? Thanks for joining us, brother. Um, and then they were like, uh, no, like the whole bridge is like gone. And I was like, what? Like, bro, I'm not going to lie. hundred percent. I, I shed a tear on the way to work this morning because it was just like the amount of people that that affected that took a lot of people's lives. Um, it's going to affect our economy, no matter what anybody wants to say about it. And it's going to affect our travel patterns. What's up, Sam? Thanks for joining us. Dude, I got a call from my aunt at three o'clock in the morning. She lives in Virginia. She grew up here and she grew up in Dundalk. That's where I grew up in Dundalk. And she was like, uh, is everybody okay? And I'm like, it's three o'clock. What the hell are you talking about? And she was like, the key bridge collapsed. You don't know. And I'm like, have you been drinking tonight? Like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah. turn on the news. And, and and I couldn't believe it, dude. I was like, she was like, the key bridge is gone. There's no bridge no, there no more. 
but it's not exactly true because there is part of a bridge. But if you look at like the uh, the video footage, dude, that pollen that got taken out couldn't have been more. If you wanted to take the bridge down, that that, that was the way to do it. Uh, it's kind of scary in a way if you want to look at it like that. Like if you really want to think about it, like it's kind of scary how easily it was to take down that bridge in a way. It went down like that, dude. Just like that. Mm-hmm. And and look at the devastation that it that it caused minus the lives lost, like the economic devastation. And I'm not trying to discredit the lives lost whatsoever. But that's not what foreign countries care about. Um dude, I personally think the coolest, most badass dude in this whole situation is the dude that walked away from that. He was like, nah, I that's don't need insane. That. He was like, I'm good. He walked it off. He probably was like, I'll see yeah. you at work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm good. I'll see y'all at work tomorrow. He he survived that. And then this was like, I don't need no medical attention. I'm good. And just 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 walked it off, dude. How the hell? You just literally <laughs> like, dude, he's gotta be the badass most hardcore dude in the world yeah um brian says it's crazy there's not more protocols to prevent that from happening that's kind of the first thing i said i was like why wasn't there like tugboat guidance or something like that i don't know if that's a baltimore normal what's up scott thanks for joining us no Um, usually I'm, I just, I, I'm not sure if there's normally tugboats involved or any of that i've heard about the power failures and all that but it's just what precautions can be taken to prevent this from happening? Um, and what uh, what precautions can be done in the future to prevent things like this when you have a boat that's fully electronically powered? Um, and why doesn't... I feel like this really doesn't happen very often, like anywhere in the world. I would hope not. I hope not. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, how often does a boat like this lose all automatic systems and veer straight into a bridge support structure? Let's hope not too often, dude. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's like a one of those one in a million things that's insane that happened. And man, it's just crazy. I don't, it's still, I don't, I still don't think my mind's totally like wrapped around everything that's going on. Well, one of the fortunate things was that it was one o'clock and one something in the morning. I think one forty or one thirty, one forty in the morning. Imagine if it was rush hour. It could have been way more catastrophic. Thank goodness it was not um, rush hour. Hey, what's up, David? We got David Winkate from uh, Mini Moto Nations up here in the house. What's up, Dave? And. Uh, Dave's, uh, we got a couple comments up in here. They, uh, this is all rumors. This is all hearsay. None of this is confirmed that they have to pay for tug services. They might have waived the tug services and that that exact boat has actually hit a port before in another country. What? That's um, hearsay. A speculation. Well, I don't well, have, I don't, I don't have it. This is comments in here. I don't have any like information off Google to confirm that. These are comments on, on Facebook that I'm reading currently. So it's like you, you never really know. Um, hope, but my opinion on the situation is explore every single avenue. Don't just say that something can't happen because it can absolutely happen, and we've seen it happen before. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's malicious in a different form doesn't mean it can't happen. Right. If that makes any sense to people that are listening. This is going to piss people off. (laughs) No, because like the rest of the freaking state or even country at this point. Gromster, what's up, brother? Trying to figure out what happened. Now, listen to a lot of the the news that was on today. And that's the questions that everybody's asking, like, you know, how this happened, what happened, this and that. But the news is really stressing, and they're correct, that like most importantly right now is the search and rescue you know, and and the and the uh, the families that are impacted by this. 
big time. But I mean, a lot of people impacted by this, dude. Right. Yeah. A lot of people impacted. It's a terrible thing that happened. Um, I still don't know how somebody walked it off, though, dude. Like that dude, like I want to meet that dude. Like I want to hang out with him. <laughs> he was just like, nah, I'm good. Just, what, did he swim out the river or did they pick him up? He's like, I'm good. No idea, my brother. Man, that dude is gangster. Like, man. <laughs> like, like for real. <laughs> That's the baddest dude to walk this planet. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he was drinking that morning. He was like, I want to get drug tested and take him to the hospital. I think I saw it was like, was it like (laughs) 300, 300 some feet from the top of the bridge down to the water? Yeah, he took that fall and walked it off, dude. Walked it off. I'm good. (laughs) Dang, dude. Like, that is gangster. Can I show you this, Rob? (laughs) No, what's that? This thing is cool. What's good, yo? <laughs> now you got no chop on the beer no more. Just chug the whole beer. Oh, good lord, dude. Oh, Chad's got a new toy. <laughs> that's pretty cool, dude. That's, that's a, pretty cool. That's now a draft, baby. Dude, but yeah, the whole situation is just, it's crazy, man. Like, who would ever thought? That bridge has been there forever. And uh, like, it's almost unbelievable, man. It's almost unbelievable. It's really sad. Um, I think Pr- I, I almost I almost can't believe that. Like, so they said it was like twenty people. I almost think that it's got to be more than that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know it was one thirty in the morning, but there's uh, it's a very very busy bridge. I would like to hear what Mister Scott has to say say about it because you know Mister Scott's retired uh, state trooper. Uh, I believe he was a state trooper, and uh, be interesting to hear his take on it, uh, what he thinks about it. But, dude, I don't know, man. It's crazy. So I work right by there. I work. I work right by the docks. So, uh, good. For, man, we spent half the day up on the roof of my my building just watching all the uh, things going on over there. So. Terrible, terrible thing, man. Hopefully, I don't know if any of our viewers, I have not um, seen anything yet that if we know anybody who knows anybody that was involved or, uh, you know. Dude, the one video really trips me out where you see the cars like going over. the Link to their Facebook page in the description. Sorry, Rob. Nah, yes, you're good. We got any comments or anything yet, Chad? Oh, we have a shitload of comments, my brother. Well, let's 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 talk about it, man. What we got? So, uh, Russell Russell Blanc Blank uh, says, "Hell yeah, I need one of those." Uh, Yeah, yeah, we all do. Uh, Matt Newberger says it was 185 feet to the water. Man, that's insane. Uh, Two two people found six missing. One is the guy who walked it off. The other guy went to shock trauma and has been released since. So that's a, that's positive information. Also, both of them were gangster. They both they both have been discharged from the hospital. How you go to shock trauma today and you're and you're out the hospital? You're you're hardcore, dude. I salute both y'all, man. You guys are some tough sobs. <laughs> yeah. So Matt. Matt hit me up when I told people to get uh, about the sticker thing, and I told him I was going to get him some stickers because he lives in Bel Air, and I never got him his stickers. Like I wasn't going to ship them to him because I didn't want to pay the shipping. He says ten to one odds that the bridge gets rebuilt before I get my stickers. <laughs> he, Matt, you're probably right, dude. You're probably right. I'm still no, that is not true practice. because I got Matt's okay. T-shirt in that box back yonder, and he's going to get some stickers and a koozie with that, no doubt. Riverboat Rob ships his stuff out right away, dude. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'll be I'll, I'll be on point with shipping stuff out. I remember Russ from JCS. Hell yeah, JCS boys. Yeah, I was Tony, I've been playing a little bit of video games with Adam here recently. Dude, you and your video games, man. Yeah, Rob will call me sometimes. I'll be in the middle of a match. He'll be talking to me, and I'm just like, he's just like, he's not even paying no attention. He's, and then he's Rob's like, like hey, Rob's Tony. like Chad. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you and the video games, man. The video games is uh, that, 
Dude, that's an addiction as well. Video gaming. I do things that I don't have to go into the general public for. I I can agree with that. Yeah, I don't like like to uh, associate too much out in in the public. Why do you That's think I true. Why do you think I talk to people alone in my in a studio in my house? That's not hundred <laughs> percent true uh, for me because if I at the boat ramp and I run into so I saw I met a lot of good people and, and big time and, uh, at the boat ramp. But like going to Walmart, you might just shoot me, dude. Shoot I can't me. stand grocery shopping, dude. It's like anxiety attack in one store. Grocery shopping, I'm all right with because I like to cook, but like Walmart or like Target or something like that. Even Home Depot. I'm so sick Ooh. of Home Depot. Dude. We have a suggestions on Saturday. Tidings or Wingo? I'm saying Tidings. Yeah, definitely go with the Tidings. Mm -hmm. There is definitely some slobber knockers running around out there right now that you definitely want to tie into if you can. I think it's supposed to rain some this week, though, right? Paul um, Batters. I'm not Paul sure. Paul Batters would be the one to ask about Titans. <laughs> Adam says, I met Riverboat Rob in the canal and he never left that bitch. <laughs> Adam ain't lying. Dude, a lot of people had hit me up, Adam being one of them, with some with trying to help with the boat build suggestions and things like that. I think I think Adam did. Yeah, he did and, the uh, uh the whole uh jet boat thing, you know. Yeah, and uh I didn't really get back to people because like my work is right there by the key bridge. So all my residents, so I do like apartment maintenance for a living, um, a maintenance, um, a building engineer. It sounds better than a maintenance supervisor, but it was crazy today, dude. It was crazy. Everybody was like calling and like flipping out and, you know, it was just one of those chaotic days. Hey, everybody, if you're watching the show right now, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining us. If you would do us a big favor, hit that like button, hit that share button, get our broadcast out there some more. We'll get some more people up here. We'll get some more people up in here. We'll have a good broadcast and some more conversation. Um, Wait a minute. I think I met Adam coming back to me. Adam's got I the think, jet boat, dude. You can hear him coming from. Yeah. I think it wasn't technically the canal, Adam, if I remember correctly, and, and correctly if I'm wrong. But wasn't the, uh, it's the tiny canal that goes into the forbidden zone. If you know what I mean, when you go across the big flat, and they have that little tiny, uh, little cut through, and then you're in the forbidden zone. Chad, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think I met Adam in that cut through. I could be wrong, though. It might have been in a canal. I'm always in a canal, D. Um, also, while we got some people in here, I just want to say that tonight's show is brought to you by mobile auto services and the boat pros. This is, uh, my buddy, John Hanson. They will come to you for any auto problems that you might have or services, boat services, boat fixes. Uh, they bring a big truck to you with a crane on the back of it. They can handle anything right on the spot. If you don't have the means to get to somewhere or you just really don't feel like it. So definitely hit them up. And then East Coast IV. Our friends with East Coast IV. Um, man, East Coast IV is cool too. It's another platform that will come to you. Uh, they give you IV bags, help you get more hydrated. Uh, I think they are fantastic for sports athletes, people that are looking to hydrate themselves before a big tournament, a sports events. Fishermen, you're going out on the water. You're spending a long weekend out in the sun. Hydrate yourself with East Coast IV. Get yourself an IV bag. Go out there and be and know that uh, you're going to be comfortable and you're not going to you're not going to get uh, overheated or what's the word for when you're dehy or dehydrated? You're severely dehydrated. Dehydrated, dehydrated, dehydrated is, is the word yeah. that I'm looking for. Yeah. Severely yeah. dehydrated. Dehydrate dehydration is a, a, a terrible like I don't think people might not understand how bad dehydration really is. There's a Being lot of people that live with dehydration and don't even know they are dehydrated. When their lips get all chapped and, and, and they feel like hell, they might figure it out. Dude, one of the quickest ways to hydrate yourself, believe it or not, is a shower or go swimming. Mm-hmm. Because water soaks in your pores. 
What is the Dude, biggest thing? Oh, uh, hang on one second. We have Douglas Ramos says, what is the biggest thing we have caught in the river? And your boy Pete is on. Pete Wagner is in the house. What's up, Petey? Hey, what's up, Douglas? The biggest thing I never mind. I'm not gonna mess with Douglas. So Douglas is my new um he's my right hand man. He is uh my new hire at work. Uh he's been doing great, man. Thanks for joining in, Douglas. Appreciate it, brother. Hopefully you got some work done when I left today and you didn't have to sit there on the phone looking at those Instagram hey. hosts. We got Kyle <laughs> Barney and Phil Givens from Givens Media in the house. I'm trying to get Phil Givens back up on the show very, very soon. To and answer Douglas's uh, question. Frank is also talking about another topic we definitely need to touch on here a little bit. What about the idiots in the MLF tournament that ran through that canal? Did you see that? That's Good insane. God, dude. And they was talking trash too. Like, hey, when when we when it, this lock opens, close your eyes because I'm about to run it and they don't want nobody snitching on them. And then one boat runs over the other one. Yeah. So stupid. <laughs> like, dude, like, what was y'all thinking? And then people will be like, well, Rob, you ran the canal before. Look, I'm tired of hearing that. You ain't going to catch Riverboat Rob running the canal. I'll run the canal well, every single day that isn't Thursday. Well, I do, too. But look, so here's what happened with them. I don't even like, care, oh, dude. Kayakers like can get out the way. You can float in six inches of water. You get the fuck out the channel. <laughs> you, sound, you sound like uh, Evan and my brother. But, dude, honestly, they, they came up to that little narrow train bridge, and the guy... The, the, the one that was playing in first, like if you looked into it, he got a little he got a little nervous, he got a little shook, and he slowed down. And the boat behind him didn't have time to slow down, just like the boat that hit the key bridge and psh, ran him right over, dude. Mm. But the one that was talking all that trash on the video, that he he's the one that got scared <laughs> and slowed oh. down, and the boat behind him psh, ran him over, dude. Dude, that was insane. That, I, from what I understand, that was the second um, accident in Toyota Series this year. I don't know about the first one, but I, uh, from what I understand, that's the second incident already this year. I, I did not read about the first one, but I've definitely read about mm -hmm. this one. And there is just nobody's hiding it, and there's no way to hide it. This is just foul play. Bro, in the video, like it is like literally like a twenty foot wide channel. Dude, the guy fil that filmed it said it's sketchy running it when you're idling. He was like, "It's sketchy at six knots." Well, I don't know what they were thinking trying to run it, but I don't know, dude. Like you, man, that just ain't worth it, man. Like, I honestly, I kind of agree with Frank. Fres Frank says, "DQ them forever." What people are saying. People I, are saying yeah. I'm, I'm not saying I don't really think that's overboard, dude. Like you did something that was really stupid. Like you didn't just you didn't run through a no wig zone that's like wide open. You ran through a no wig zone that's freaking twenty or thirty foot wide. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's well, just a recipe boats, for disaster. Both boats are really at um, fault. Let me check that out real quick, Evan. Cause I honestly, I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. Do you know where they were at, Rob? Well, look, Evan will run your boat, Apaka. Evan will run your boat over, jump it, and keep going. So, <laughs> but Evan's in a tin rig. It's different. Yeah, Evan will jump your boat like it's a skateboard ramp, dude. They were at. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Evan. You know that, brother. No, they're not there right now. They were at. It was at Apaka, I believe. That ain't it. Dude, what I'm telling you. What's going on here? It's out of Paca. Pretty sure. I'm sure somebody's done commenting. Toledo today. Bend, March 26th nah. and 28th. No, nah, it wasn't at Toledo Bend. No, it's Look not Toledo comment. Bend. I'm sure somebody's commenting. I got to bring the comments up, dude. I'm on here on the thing right now. I'm looking at it. I don't. Oh, I got Matt Downs in the comments here. Says, what's up, guys? I'm about to eat some dinner. If you guys are still on and want to bring me on, he'll be back in about 20 or 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Let's bring Matt on and talk some 10 boats, dude. We'd love you to have me? Matt on and talk some 10 boats at the end of the show. 
I only got 2,000 questions for him. That's all. I'm still trying to, I'm still kind <laughs> Dude, of like brain farting on where hey, the hell somebody they were. Somebody please comment. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was at a pocket, dude. I'm oh, I can just hit good. schedule. Mm. I'm not looking it up, dude. Too lazy for that. Dale dude. Hollow Lake. That's April. It might have been Dale Hollow. That is a pocket, I believe. Yeah, they're in Dale Hollow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Boats running over boats. Boats knocking down bridges. That's crazy. I don't even know if it's safe. People anymore. just go on berserk. They don't even care anymore. I want to know what my brother thinks about the key bridge getting knocked down. I called him this morning. And, dude, I swear to God, I called my brother like 4 o'clock this morning. And he answers the phone and he goes, if you're calling me about the key bridge getting uh, collapsing, I already know. That's what he says. That was That's how he answers the phone for me. Hi, Miss Maria. Oh, my wife on too. If you're calling me about the key bridge collapsing, I already know. That's how he answered the phone. That's exactly how he answered the phone, dude. Because <laughs> his son lives on the Patapsco River in Sparrows Point. So his son, like, heard everything going on. You know, he's right there, uh, my nephew. So he called my brother right away. And I called him. I was, like, two hours late calling my brother. <laughs> Douglas so, says the world is broke. Charles says it's wild. Maryland is about to up the taxes. Yeah, yeah, dude. Christ, right? dude. Like uh, they dude. haven't done that enough already, bro. Yeah, it's going to get worse, man. Think about it. Think about all the... Uh, shoot, what you got? You got Trade Point Atlantic there. You got the mm -hmm. docks. You got GM. You got all that right there, dude. Don't buy a GM. Mm -hmm. well, not, I got not around here. I got to do real quick here. Amazon packages come. Hey, look, all those TMU prices are going up. Team U prices are going up. Yeah, I would imagine, dude. Good God. How, how are you going to get shipments in from China, dude? Let me see here. I heard a, uh, I heard a thing on the news today that uh, Philadelphia is going to pick up some of the imports, important. But I did not know. I learned this today with the whole uh, tragedy that happened that uh, Maryland is one of the biggest uh, exporters of coal. I didn't know that. Whoa. Did you know that, Chad? I did not. Chad didn't. He's probably playing a video game on I'm the I'm not. Other. This is an advertisement for later that I'm advertising to everybody right now. All right. But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I am going to go to our timer for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to come back because I have to handle something. We'll see you in 30 seconds. Let's go. All right. We're back. What's up, y'all? Apparently, Chad had to pee extremely bad. I had to pee really bad. Right. It happens, bro. 
Yeah, I could have held it down while you did that, dude. I could have like. I mean, dude, I just I didn't want to leave you hanging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, didn't I want did to that too. But uh, now we're back, and uh, so I do have one exciting thing that I want to announce while I have some people watching right now. Ooh, we have some comments up here. What's going on? Lou, what's up? We got Lou Dog in the house. Lou Dog fishing. Charles up, Jones says the tax here is effing insane, bro. I'm moving. I can't take it anymore. Absolutely, Charles. You are 110% right. David Simpson Jr., YouTube. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not going to click on it right now because I'm live don't, and don't, I need to don't, focus. Don't, don't click on that. I don't know. It's a YouTube like, video. Oh, okay. Oh, it may probably are the... Uh... Well, I don't know. The boat wreck. One of the boat wrecks. Possibly. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, while I'm chilling here, well, I got you guys. So we got a announcement for uh, Friday Night Shenanigans. is this Friday at 8 p.m., as it always is. And we have a guest who is also uh, local to the DMV. And he is called Fishing the DMV. Very um, popular YouTube channel. Very popular YouTube channel, Fishing the DMV. We're going to be live to no, or, uh, Friday night with me. And uh, Rob, are you coming over Friday night? Or maybe you'll uh, call in? Yeah, I'll probably call in, dude. I'll probably call in. I will probably call in. I'll probably be here with Paul to my left and Tony to my right. We're going to talk to Fishing the DMV. I know that Tony is really, really hyped about this. Uh, Tony definitely wants to talk about stocking bass calling bass uh what makes a healthy fishing population why aren't we stocking f1 strain bass here and uh, i don't think they could survive the winter correct well oh, i thought you were asking me I'm no gonna i'm just saying this is what we're going to talk about on friday so uh we're going to get into that and uh definitely join us on friday it's going to be a great conversation we hope to see you guys there chad let's go through some of the comments man let's what check it out uh, Charles Jones ready for the weather to warm up so the bass can wake up. The bass are definitely starting to wake up. They're there. Especially out there on the flat where I know. Uh, Don't say too much now, Chad. Yeah, I, I take it easy, you know. They're, 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 uh, they're moving up. I know Matt wants to go out to the flats. Matt should go out to the flats. Go to, I would, well, I would go to the GP personally, but it's just easier for me to go to the GP, but the flats, um, man, I've seen uh, Victor and, uh, what was it, Victor and Logan, man, they had, they, they, they called them on the flats from what I've seen on Facebook. They dude. always catching them on the flats. Them on the flats is like us on the GP. But but what I'm saying is obviously much bigger area to cover. Well, no, but obviously if you can figure them out, they're chilling. According, yeah. looking what I've seen, what they caught. Uh, so, I'm not. Uh, I don't know if they're just chilling. That's definitely an early heavy bag. Yeah, no, they're chilling, dude. Like, oh oh, I thought you said chilling. I was like, no, eh. chewing, chewing. They yeah. called them up. Yeah, they called them up. Uh, so they're obviously biting. They're also hammers, and they know where to go. That's what I'm saying. If you could figure them out, you could figure a little something out, you could probably definitely go up there and catch them. It's the local hammers up there, obviously. <laughs> Phil says he'll tell us where they are. Phil knows. Shoot, Phil. Go, uh, Phil, give... yo, I'm trying to get Phil and Ryan Salzman on the show. Dude, man, we got to plug Phil real quick. Um, I got to call you, Phil. I got I to gotta hit you up, Phil. It's the whole thing. But either way, Givens Media, man, doing big things. And he's got a podcast now, too. A good podcast. Fun to watch, man. I am a... I miss... I think I only missed one episode, Phil, and that was the last one you did. As something going on. I'm pretty sure I've seen every episode of Talking with Phil. That's what I call it. It's, it's Talking with Phil, isn't it? I mess the name up every time. But uh, really good podcast, um, especially if you're into, like, hunting. Um Phil, Phil, man, you the man, brother. We we, we got to talk, man. You got to talk about some things. Uh, I'll explain later, dude. But hit me up. 
when you get a second. And and who's your next guest that you're having on, Phil? Wait a minute. Let's give Phil a chance to plug his. You're going to have to type it, but we'll repeat it. Um, Bro, I'll send Phil the link right now, and he can just call in. Yeah, let him. Yeah, Phil, come on, man. Call in and plug your podcast, dude, because it's really good, man. And he's a really good friend of the show and a really good friend of ours. And uh, his Phil, podcast. I'm sending it. I'm sending it to your personal profile. If you don't answer, you're a little bitch. Yeah, Phil, don't be a little bitch. Yeah, like your brother. Yeah. So, <laughs> I got you, man. Ever will cut you. He's like that dude. Remember that dude that was on the news? Like, like he was like a whack, 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 like the hippie dude. That's that's Evan. You can't don't talk shit about Evan, man. He'll fuck you. <laughs> oh God, he'll mess you up. <laughs> I almost used the F word, dude. Let's see if we can get Phil Givens on here. That that would be fun, man. We get Phil Givens and and Matt from Trick Tens, man. Two of our buddies. Chad, I drank my coffee. I think it's time for me to grab a beer, my damn self. Just one. Yeah, just one, man. I'm on the road to sobriety, but hey, look, it's one step at a time, man. I might not. Look, look at this. One day not, at a time, baby. One day at a time. I'm not going to. I might a little later. We get a little deeper in the show. <laughs> Here, the MLF website is whack. I didn't like the website at all. MLF is whack. Not the people that fish it, just dude. The the f the fbd hat, dude. That shit was geeking who, me out. Who who knows about the f uh, fbd yeah. hat? Yeah. Who knows about the fbd hat that's on the market right now? Yeah. Yeah. If you know the real story, it's uh it's it's uh very interesting. We got any more comments? Is Phil getting on? Phil, where you at, brother? Phil says, give him a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. So Phil will be joining us shortly. What else we got, Chad? What else is in the news? Man, I don't know, man. It's literally just the... All I heard about today was the bridge. No, I meant the comments, dude. I just called it the news. I'm sure there's got to be mad comments. Doug's up in here. That's my boy, Doug, dude. Charles says he heard it's supposed to hit about 70 degrees on Sunday. This weekend will probably be a beautiful weekend to get out on the water. I got to get out, dude. I got to get out. You haven't been out? I, no, dude, I'm still like, I'm about the boat build is coming down to, to the end, oh, I like it. but I gotta, I gotta finish it up, man. Douglas actually, that's on now. Uh, me and him was talking about this today and we went to home Depot, look for some tin and they were out of any kind of aluminum that would be strong enough for a deck. Um, the bin was totally empty. Andre says, thoughts on the Hank Parker forward-facing sonar YouTube video? Do you really want to hear my opinion? Yes. Well. Like and share. Like and share, everybody, because his his opinion is, you know, his opinion is his opinion, but it's an opinion that a lot of people might not want to hear. It's just, I But it's a it. fact, dude. I liked it. I liked it. I'm glad Hank Parker stepped up and said something, too. I agree with it. How can you not respect Hank Parker's opinion? I agree with it. I agree with it. I we did as well. To, we talk to a lot of um, we talk to a lot of people behind the scenes, and believe it or not, his opinion is is not far off from what a lot of people say. Um, is this, is this hey, look, his media all, all, calling up in here? Yeah, I think it is. Like. How are you Gibbons Media? You can't even put your name on there. You got guest user. Come on, Phil. I put my name on. Can you not hear me or see me? I can, I can hear, hear you, you now. Can't see you. Your well, voice is unmistakable. It says guest user, and you're just a gr- uh, white my circle. Name, I got my camera <laughs> open. <laughs> your, your sound sounds great. But, he does uh, have a I'll nice microphone. Clear. Can you guys hear this? Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, crap. No, I agree with Hank Parker. And uh, yeah, team? that stinks. It's just my opinion, though. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't. You know, I don't know. What else we got, Chad? Phil, where are you? I'm oh. here. My camera's on. Do you got to turn it on your end? Yeah, no, I can't. I, we can't see you. There he goes. There, there it, it is. Hey. 
he got What's it. Up? What's up, Phil? Givens oh, Media in the house. Dude, first we got to ask Phil, like, man, okay. Because I am I just see it pop up on Facebook, and I just watch it when it pops up. But uh, when is your podcast? Like, what's the deal, dude? Oh, we got Thursday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, got you. And your guest range, there's kind of, you got like a wide span of like guests because you went like duck hunting, but your last guest, mm-hmm. if I'm not wrong, was like a middle school teacher or a teacher. Yes. Like, it was uh, Sam Melton. So I met him filming an elk hunt. He was the second camera guy on it. Okay, so he was a camera guy as well. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I missed so far. I promised you to watch it. He's also one. a teacher. So it's pretty cool. He's He was a D3, three time collegiate scholar, wrestler. R- really? Cool guy. cool guy. Yeah. Real, oh. real deep rooted in uh, faith in Christ and just a good person. That's what's up, man. It's the only episode I missed, dude. Uh, I've seen the rest of your episodes. I missed that one. I don't know what was going dude, on. That one was so long. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. We talked uh-huh. for three hours and then hung up the podcast and kept talking. <laughs> That's what dude, kind of people- isn't it crazy how that happens? It's so easy. I'll be up here like doing this shit until one o'clock in the morning talking to people. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I tried to end this like two hours ago. <laughs> Yeah, it's so easy. Damn. Well, what people don't realize is um, after Bass and Beer Radio on Friday nights, we hang out in Chad's driveway for another hour or two. Every so every time, dude. Was. You go yeah, out but... there and we either walk into the garage and stand next to the boat and hang out next to the boat and all the fishing rods and talk, or we stand in the carport next to the other boat. And talk about <laughs> just talk about more fishing or next week's episode or whatever is going on. I had the phone, so I was watching you guys. I just casted it from my phone to my TV up in my room and was just watching it so I could hear it also outside my headphones still. So I'd turn it off. It was kind of driving me crazy. Uh, yeah, you'll get that, that, that little double echo there. Yeah, I can listen to a lot of stuff, but then myself, again, a couple seconds behind is hard. You don't uh you don't uh travel and go to every concert uh like your brother, do you? Dude, I've been to like five concerts my whole life. First Ev- one Ev- was, uh... Evan goes to five a week. I was gonna say Evan <laughs> went to five last week. Yeah. yeah. Dude. First off, I don't like being in big crowds like that. I, I don't I, I don't like it. I don't like that. Makes me anxious, well, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't well, do going to the city, I don't could do I don't do any of that. Just having the bridge collapse and having to drive the other way and sit in traffic in areas that I haven't sat in before. I don't like it. Dude, tell me I'm a weirdo, but having the bridge collapse makes me not even want to use like big bridges like that anymore. Dude, I went over the back it, river it, bridge today and was shook. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, bro, I feel like it was like, not an easy force that took it down, but I feel like it was just something so simple, and this whole right. thing just went down. That's 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 engineering. That's some. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dude, how easily things can just come unglued. I think I read somewhere it was like 120 million dollars to make it. That's kind of expensive. That's insane. It seems like a, a 120 million dollars well invested. Yeah, I mean, like, think about it. That's not that much. It's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong on that. So they said 35,000 people cross the bridge every day. The toll's up to like 12 bucks or some crap. So $12 times 35,000 people a day. That shit. They was, they they should have spent more building that bridge. <laughs> it was built in like what? The 70s? Or yeah. no, it was the 60s? How much money are they making on that bridge, dude? Uh, it was the 70s, I believe. 70s? Maybe late 60s, early 70s. I'm sure somebody's going to comment and, yeah. and correct me, but uh, it's it's definitely it's. I know I can't see the comments either. Chad has to read them to us. He can't. I can't. Dude, just, not... just hit the like and the share oh, button hey, right now, know. boys. Hit that like and that share button. But we got know. Phil Givens with Givens Media up in the house. We definitely want some more people up in here so we can talk about Phil's stories. Thanks yeah. for joining us, Phil. Hey, uh, oh, big news. Do you think? All right. Would you guys follow? I'm trying to think of how to word it. You know, Cribs, MTV Cribs, right? Oh, yeah. Would you 
watch a YouTube series that went into the anglers' houses or the the yes. pros' houses, yes, not their real yes. houses on tour, and they did like, oh, here's the like in their Airbnb that they've only been in for like a day or two, but then get to their boat, walk over their boat on how they got it set up for whatever lake they're on real quick. That would I, be cool. I feel like I'm less interested in the hotel room more than I, I am how their the boat is set up. You want the real houses. All the right. real houses and the and the legitimate boat setup. Not not their house, but their tack whatever their tack you know. No, they, I want to see their house. To I want to see their house. Their bass cave. I want to see what Salzman's kitchen looks like. Oh, you want to see it all. <laughs> it's, 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 kitchen probably looks like. Bear. it's probably oatmeal. Yes. Right. He's always on the road fishing, right? Salzman's got a lawn chair in his living look, room. Look, look. <laughs> yeah, it's not much Phil food. is actually thinking like I can tell yeah, you everything yeah. he has in the kitchen. Yeah, well, he can't eat much. He's on a special diet. Yeah. He's got that Lyme disease or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know the story, dude. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you're a tick bite. Uh, yeah. Joe, Joe Mannion. I'm so scared of ticks. Joe Dude, Man Mannion or Mannon says they do a white tail cribs. I'm sure you've probably heard of that. Is that where they go to like their man caves or like yeah, deer camps? I where guess did, so. Where did Saul's it's called white tail cribs. Oh, he says oh. it's pretty cool. <laughs> Cash totally cribs. missing it. Where Saul's gonna get bit by that tick, dude? Somewhere. I don't think south. South of the belt. <laughs> North of the knees. South, south of the belt. <laughs> <laughs> south of the belt, north of the knees, boys. <laughs> got bit by a tick, got Lyme disease, man. He talks about it. He's not shy about it. He talks about it. And like, damn, dude, ouch. Like, out of all places, damn. Yeah. All right, so. It's nuts. How's he doing on MLF this year? Because I haven't really followed MLF like that. How's Salzman doing? So I just went to Red Crest. I didn't go to the other two. Mm. Look at how the time. Red Crest, Red Crest uh, 17th. Oh, shoot. That's freaking good, dude. He had a 17th place finish in Red Crest? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Practice was good. Yeah. yeah. It, it was, it was, uh, hmm, how do I word it live? It's, uh, it's a sport to. that a lot of people, some of the people that compete in it are very cutthroat and we're competing for money. It doesn't matter how close we're going to get or if you're sitting there waiting for something or what, whatever it may be. I'll sit right here and anchor my boat all day. Some of the people are, are you know, I get it. Money's on the line. No. $300,000. But some, some, all the anglers have different mindsets when it comes to uh, uh, well, I'm in a cove and uh, there's there's a guy right there and it's only 200 how, yards. How you should fish when money's on the line. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And, dude, it's a lot of money. It's not like uh, Thursday night or you come around the corner and you're like, oh, there's someone there. Damn. Uh, no, you're talking $100,000. Yeah, these dudes, are, these dudes are like, fuck you. I'm going to bounce a jig off your boat. Like... <laughs> Well, it's dominated by certain people. He's like, he's not saying it, but he's like. Not, yeah, but like, <laughs> it's, it's some people, but no, not the ones that win it all the time. No, definitely not. I'll put that out there. No, no, no. Mm -mm. No. But some of the guys that are up there, but it's wild. They'll, they'll try anything, basically, to, to keep it short and simple and not put too much out there that's yeah. interesting dude it's really cool that you get to experience that though dude like you experience it like you fish it but, but you're fish. you're but you experience it. from the camera cameraman uh the cameraman angle so you get to but you're there like you know same as if you were like a guy fishing it you see it all you see all the behind the scenes you probably do you go to the meetings as well or no none this year but you have been to them before all the one last year yeah yeah, so you get to see, you see all the behind the scenes stuff. I went to the Red Crest, what is it called? Uh, Red Crest Ball. Uh, oh, it's like the Night of the Champions for Bassmasters. Oh like Red Crest Ball. Yeah, KVD did a remembrance speech and like his retirement speech. It was pretty cool. Yeah. We played a video about him and then he surprised his wife with a thank you video. Yeah, yeah, we know you'd be hanging out with KVD, dude. 
I'll be hanging out with him. <laughs> <laughs> we know you know him. When you gonna get him on the show for us? That's all we want to know, man. That's all we got. That's all. That's all we know, <laughs> Phil. Who are you gonna? Are you gonna have any of those pros on? Are you gonna have Salzman on your show? Maybe. Yeah, I'm sure you probably will, right? I want to have Salzman on my show. Let me look at the uh, the sign up I got. Who you got coming up next? Joey D'Amico. D'Amico. Something like Dude, that. I'm always tuning in. I'm always up in there. Joey, he does the... Oh, here's his Instagram as soon as I pull mine up. He does the social wow, media for great. East Coast Waterfowl. And four other companies. Damn. And he films uh, in South Africa hunting. And he's got some really cool stuff. So so most of the people that you have on, Phil, are uh, people that you meet on your journey? Mm-hmm. So- that I can have a conversation with. Dude, I meet so many people. There's some people where it's like, we talk. They're good people. Yeah, well, Phil's a, Phil's podcast team. is uh, live with Phil. Yeah, Damn it. on uh, on Givens Media. With Phil. <laughs> talking with Phil. That's what I keep calling it, dude. I don't know. You At know, first, I, I just made the name up. At first, I was doing recorded conversations, and I was like, "Nah, fuck that. I don't want that. Do that live with." Yeah, I, I talk you over you, dude. You hear that? My dog saying, "All done outside." <laughs> Let's let's uh let's let's get this right because I talked over you. But your podcast is live with Phil. There we go. On Thursday Duh. nights. Thursday nights, eight p.m. And this week we got Joey. He's a cool guy. Films all over. Yeah. So I just pick guests that uh I've oh one. Hold on, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Phil, dude, is, is Matt from Trick Tens, uh, Chad, um, back on? Because it would be cool to get Matt on with us too, dude. We get the whole crew on board tonight. Uh, I'm dude. not sure. I sent him a link on his Facebook, but he hasn't viewed it yet, so he might be busy. Hey, Phil, have you watched the Trick Ten stuff? Trick Tens is dope, dude. Yeah, and he's got another build coming out, dude. Dude, you uh, guys know how much I fish. Or how yeah, like, I, I do. Maybe I like do. once a year. Do anything yeah. with, I could count the times I, not catch a fish, cast, probably on one hand. Dude, in a year. he can. Uh, he could. But yeah, Evans took you fishing a couple times, dude. And your brother fishes as bad as us. But he could build you a duck hunting boat. You would like you never seen before, dude. I got one for sale. If anyone wants to buy it. Wait, you're not hunting no more either? You're not ducking? You're just filming? You're staying. I am, but I don't want that. I don't want a boat. It's more of a headache. I'd rather have some money. Hey, we got Adam <laughs> We got Adam in the house from JCS Marine. Adam and Russell up in here. Matt, Matt just messaged back and says, what's up, guys? He just got back on. Give him a second. <clears throat> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, Joey. After Joey, the week after 4-4, I got Luis Martinez. He's got a, a karate dojo. Ninja Abingdon here in Bel Air, and then he also does drag racing. No hunting or fishing involved with that one. No, not at all. You're going to make the yeah. same mistake I made, Phil. And do what? I I I I didn't stick to my niche. All right. And I was too far over the place, so the algorithm, although my YouTube does pretty well, um, my algorithm didn't know my target audience. Oh. Does that make sense? You see what okay. I'm saying? So if it's like hunting or it's like fishing, then you go like race cars. Should I cancel him? No, you shouldn't. Just when you, when you tag that stuff, tag a bunch of hunting and fishing stuff. I don't tag before. anything. I don't yeah, do, you're doing I what don't, you do. Ask, ask him a fishing question or like hunting question. Bro, I got to say, though, I, like I think not. that I think that getting with our boy Matt Downs from Trick and Tens then, could Matt probably be cool. pretty cool. You go down here and like. Film, do a live like film in like his shop or what he does. He makes like he makes the coolest John boats I've ever seen. Oh God, dude, insane! Where at around here? Down, nah, in, down in, uh, in Virginia. 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 Where about Norfolk, Virginia Beach? Mm. Nah, dude. Like you have not seen his stuff yet. No, uh, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, you you got to check out a uh, Trick Tens on YouTube and uh, dude his. Aluminum boat builds are insane. Like he takes 
like all weld or like any aluminum boat and will strip them down and does custom aluminum like um custom Everything. aluminum frame platforms custom hatches custom live wells everything They're like these are the most like eccentric and well-built looking aluminum bass boat rigs that i have ever seen like they're ridiculous and, like all the custom like sea foam stuff on them or uh sea deck and he hates rivets he won't rivet any he welds it all dude yeah it's all welding welded his welding is like amazing dude i got some hatches from from my boat dude like i'm looking at him here yeah it's insane like, it's insane uh the work he does he built a boat for uh for rob turkler from the guggen squad these are like the boats in alaska dude he it depends on if it's a tin boat and it's welded aluminum he's got you anything no, he's got you. Right. Like, anything like a, you want dude t uh, uh, phil see me out on a river one day and he was like dude you look like keith poche because you're like surrounded by all these big boats and you're like this little tiny boat dude and he was like that's how keith poche looks when when we're on ml and it, like i'll be doing the blast off and he'll go what do you say his boat tops at 48 42 that sounds about right 48 yeah probably everyone probably. else is like 62 to 68 mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so blast off he gets passed but he doesn't care. Super happy about it. He's going back where they can't go, though. Oh, yeah. He's got his own insane. style. Him and, him and, like, John Cox and a few other... Um, a few other shallow water guys. You know, John... Have you noticed, Phil, that it's mostly offshore fishing now on MLF? Like, I don't know, because I haven't been following it like that, but has everything been getting one on forward facing? Uh, I, I don't really know, but I do know that a lot of what I hear, they don't like forward facing. They don't. But if you got to do it to win the money, you got to do it. I mean, but, earlier, oh that's my what gosh, dude, that like takes us down this rabbit hole of this crazy conversation. But dude, Chad, we talk to a lot of people too, off the record, and we hear a lot of this. We hear a lot of that. There's as times well. where it's fun. We we do. We hear a lot of important people, yeah. in my opinion, say things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear and, a lot uh, of that. Well, that's it's it's that's wild. Hard. It's wild. It just, but it keeps going though. It just keeps on going. Have well, you played it? with it? Have you done, seen it? Watched it? Mm -mm. Like I've, I've seen it. What I watched it, but I have not. I don't own it, and I'm not. I don't I've need never, it. I've right. never held a rod and watched Matt, it. Matt, I sent you a link on your messenger. You can click on that. If you don't see it, just let me know. I'll send it to you again. I was out on uh, Lake Anna with Paul Batters, and uh, Paul was using it, and, and it was cool. Like, it was kind of cool, but it was just, like, not my style. But, I mean, like, I can see how some people would, would like, like it. I think the main problem is you, you don't want anything to just dominate. It's like football where only the quarterback matters and nothing else matters because the quarterback's just winning the game every time. He don't need nobody else, if that makes sense. I don't know. Either way, I have seen it live. Like playing chess without your queen. Right, yeah. And Paul Paul was good at it, and Paul Paul likes it, and he knows what he's doing. And I mean, but at the end of the day, it's not for me. I'm not with it. I don't like it. That's just my opinion, though. You know, who am I? It don't matter. I'm not going to be up there fishing it with MLF with Phil Gibbons. A lot, of, a lot of the young guys. Did you see um, Takahiro? Mm -hmm. I believe that's his name. Yeah, that's it. He fished all shallow for like pretty much the whole tournament and left his covers on his grabs. That's what I'm doing. That's what I do, man. I got a graph. I just use it to check water temperature. You, you're sitting on there watching videos. Yeah, nah, dude. Uh, but here's the thing about where I fish, and you know this, Phil. You've been there before, and you you duck hunted the river and all that. <laughs> You look like you're definitely Evan's brother. Look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like, the deepest, <laughs> what, what, what's the deepest spot in that river, dude? 10 foot, maybe 14. By blind, I know where you're, you're talking about, probably by, by the one blind site. Yeah, it, well, if you go back in the Forbidden Zone. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Thanks for joining the, us, as brother. As deep as it gets, what I need forward-facing sonar for. Although I know people are using a shallow. But I mean, I can go down that bank and 
I go down the banks of the canal. But you could go to the flats and just drive around and look for them. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. Is my point. Now, what are we if looking I was trying for on the do... flat, though, just like a random log out there. Yeah, that's what they do. A random you know two foot little drop off. Like, um, it's crazy. It's crazy there, the little things that make a difference out on the flat. Are there any grass patches out there yet? The whole thing is grass. No, I, he said, yeah, no, I, I haven't been out there this year. Some right. will get bigger first. Yeah. Little uh, rocks. Underground. Do you guys use hot sand? Well, you could, you know, you used, used to be able sand. to throw out. Used Probably to not to, as much as I should. You used to be able to throw out a Carolina rig and just drag it across the bottom and find that stuff. Do you, or side scan. Do you use that, Rob? Yeah, I do have side scan. Do you like it? Do you look for like the, what is it? The oyster beds and all that? Rocks okay, and so pipes? I got to be 100% honest here because I don't want to be a liar. But Riverboat Rob is old. And I got a nine-inch hummingbird. It's a little hard. That for is me not too. where I thought this was going. Yeah, <laughs> nine inches and got excited over there. <laughs> it's a it's a little hard. <laughs> I'm old, but I got nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a nine inch hummingbird. <laughs> it's it's getting hard for me to see the screen, dude. To be honest, honestly. What up? Hey, what's up? What we up, got Matt? Matt down some trick tens in here. Speaking of oh, the man, yeah. that's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's watching you. He, <laughs> like the shit right now. He's like this guy. Wow. watching. dude, I did a hunt. I filmed a hunt in Alaska, and they use these kind of boats. The yeah, little boats out there. They ain't these kind of boats though. But a lot the of the stuff I do with smaller boats, man. I mean, I built some jet boats, and uh, I mean, pretty much anything. I've, I've done fiberglass work. I'm getting into a little bit of everything in the marine industry, but most of the stuff I do is uh like for the small smaller lake tournaments uh a lot of the tournaments around here the you're only allowed to have up to like a 16 foot boat and 99 outboard everybody runs you know aluminum welded boats with uh like 20 horsepower ecu upgraded 99s and could you do uh, a, could you do a 21 by six feet oh, man, what was that? oh is he talking or did he freeze he was saying he could do whatever you want, but then he froze up. Can you see me? No. I don't have good internet. There you go. I think. Well, it's Matt. Is it Matt. working now? We can hear you, but your vi but your picture uh, is frozen. But we can hear you. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> It'll probably start working. Last time again. you brought me on, I went through Facebook or so. I didn't have to go through Skype. I don't know, but You're either way. It was oh, just working again. Me? Yeah. 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 All right. I was going to show you all some stuff. Let me see if I can turn this camera around from here. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, we lost you again, uh, Matt. Uh, we have no picture now. All uh, right. Rob, your Push room. Here nice. we go. My what? Your room looks nice. Thank you, man. I worked hard on it, dude. Dude, it's a lot of work to get a room together, isn't it? Yeah, well, I was carpenter by trade originally. No, I'm not uh, saying like that. I'm saying aesthetically. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and my lighting, my lighting is still ain't correct. Rob, my wall is so paper. My, it's my camera now. good, dude. Oh uh, no, uh, Matt, we can't. We still can't see you yet, dude. We can hear you. That's, that's annoying. Is... I'll show you guys some stuff. Is there a way I can join through Facebook? Hey, Chad, can you make that happen? I gotta go through Skype. This is the link I've sent everybody when we do this, so I'm not sure. <laughs> we can find out. It's Send a, it to him on Facebook. He was asking. I just sent a link before, and I hopped in on Facebook because I had to download Skype on my phone in order to get this up. I'm next door in my new my. I'm just I'm moving next door, so I'm in my new uh, house and I in my garage. I don't have a uh, internet hooked up over here yet, so I'm, it's kind of shoddy with the phone service, but. It's all good. I can I can catch up with y'all later. If you can't see me, I wanted to show y'all no, a couple things. Can you but, uh, you can hear me? I can hear all you guys. I can see you guys too. For some reason, right. I guess my camera my camera's working on my end. <laughs> I want to see what Matt has to show us, dude. Come on, Chad, make it happen. I, dude, I'm trying. Crazy. I yeah. I don't know what else to do to add him into the Skype oh, call I other than send him the Skype link. Can you send the Skype oh, yeah. link on Facebook? Would that work? I no? sent it. I sent it to him on Facebook. 
I wonder if he decides. I got a question. Ah, can you make a boat that's like 21 feet long and six feet wide? Maybe center console or side console? At the moment, I don't make the actual hulls. A lot of the guys are bringing me boats. They'll bring me, you know, trackers or express boats or anything welded. And then I basically build out the inside, customize what they want. Okay, okay. Six foot wide and 20 some foot long? That sounds like a skinny boat, dude. Yeah, I need to be a little bit that. Eventually, I'm going to get to that point. If anybody's, well, is, if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be you. Dude, a six foot wide boat? You think it's skinny? I don't I'm know. I'm trying to I mean, figure this out in my brain. 72 inches. That's at the floor. And then it'll flare out. It'll probably end up being 80, almost, you know. Yeah, that's, it'll be, it's a, that's a good size boat. It's a really good size boat. Well, yeah, I mean, dude, in Alaska, we had 55, probably 140 gallons of gas in the boat, plus a moose, plus <laughs> one, two, a three, we'll have six people. <laughs> and this thing was no fucking problem. It was fine. <laughs> you almost killed me, dude. Plus a moose and six people. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty thing. That's a big, big monster to have in a boot. Dude, we can see you fine now, Matt. It's working good. Yeah, Matt, Matt's mm-hmm. going to start I'm building some moose boats. Some camera. So. Yeah, yeah. How you get a moose boat, Matt? Uh, I, ain't never, I ain't never built no moose boats, man. <laughs> <laughs> Matt probably built a moose rack I'm on your boat. Man. You I mean, can hang your it money on there. I'll build you anything you want. <laughs> anything is possible. Anything is possible yep. with Trick Tens, baby. We need six but, people on this boat and a couple of mooses. Mises. Mices. How you moose? I oh, don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs> let's see what Matt's got to show us, dude. We want to see, man. Yeah, let's check All it right. out. I guess my, my rear facing camera is not working, but uh, this is uh, this is a tracker. It's kind of like what I do. These are all kits right here. You got different kits for different sections of it. All right, the rear bench kit. You got a couple hatches in here. This is one Austin was working on. Austin's coming back to work with me full time. He's like my right hand man. Um, deck kits up here. I mean, it's just a stock tracker. It's got four hatches, and then, uh, you know, it's got like a frame inside of there that I can ship to you. You can rivet it down, drop those hatches in, and you got a deck on it. It's got a live well inside of this compartment right here. And that's kind of what they look like, you know, before we finish them up. And then when they're done, they look like this bad boy over here. Oh, my God. Damn. This this one, I had to bring this one back in the garage because I'm getting ready to sell this boat. And uh, I thought it was gone. No, I haven't sold it yet, man. I haven't even listed it. Uh. I took a bunch of the hatches and I taped off all the turf and painted them and put some new decals and stuff on them because SB's been fishing this thing religiously. And that dude, I mean, he could tear up anything, man. So, yeah, SB Fisher. He fishes so hard. Like, you know, he used the boat for two and a half years. It's going to have some wear and tear on it. Yeah. So check out the splish panel. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's yeah. Bro, I got the That's nitro because- switch in there. I probably shouldn't say this, but if you're familiar, Tiny Boat Nation does kind of like a panel like that, but it it's not. You can't hide it like that. It's just kind of. Never mind. No, this thing's dope, man. Yeah. The wrap still looks cool. good. It's got the LEDs on the outside too. Oh, I didn't notice that LEDs on the outside. That's tight. Yeah, all the boats I do the LEDs on the outside and on the inside. This one's got blue on the outside, and it's got like a black light on the inside. I love this turf color, man. This turf cleaned up really well, too. I mean, considering that, you know, how much he's used it. And it's got this huge rod locker on here. Saying like eight and a half feet long. Pretty Those dope. big swim baits. W- were the speakers RGB? Because that's what I was saying. LGB. Yeah, I guess uh, I just reset everything. <laughs> Shut up, Phil. In here, so, uh, when I hook the new lithium batteries up, I haven't permanently hooked them up. I just hooked them up so you guys can see them working. But I got two lifetime batteries in there. And uh, I guess when you unhook them and hook them back up, the speakers kind of do their own thing. They got remotes and stuff that come with them. So. Right, right. But what I'm saying is you can, yeah, with like the remote or whatever, you could change them whatever color you want or whatever. 
Oh yeah, this thing's got all kinds of settings. You do all yeah. kinds of other shit with that. That's cool this shit. Is, and I gotta sell this thing. I'm trying to get this thing fixed up so I can list it. And it's just been a whirlwind of stuff, man. It's like Matt. Do you know, you know what you do? You know what you want to list it for? I think realistically, I mean, if I had to build this boat with all these compartments and the way it's set up now for somebody. I mean, able to have fifteen thousand dollars worth of aluminum fabrication into it by itself, but considering the age of it and the fact that I got to move it, I'd like to get twenty grand for it. I might come down to fifteen to sell it, but um, I mean, it, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things. It's like a niche boat. It's like not everybody is going to spend that kind of money on a boat, but my customers that I'm building boats for now. They're spending ten to fifteen grand just to get the metal work done and the turf and stuff like that, without the boat, without the grass, the lioscope, the trolling motor, you know, the new outboard. So it's like there's a market out there. It's just it's one of those things. It's a niche product. You know what I mean? It's like I'll, I'll sell my ranger. Gonna... I'll sell my ranger tomorrow and freaking get <laughs> and that buy, thing, dude. It. it has an outboard on it. That was going to be my question. What kind of motor it has on it? What size motor is that, Matt? Uh, it's it's the same thing everybody's running. It's the one of the new Tahas twos. Uh, it's the nine nine with the twenty ECU upgrade. Um, this thing has a huge log well in it too. But um, I mean, SB's had some big fish in here, man. It's like a twenty five gallon live well, and he's had some couple double digits in that bad boy. He ain't you never lost you, a fish. So. You said so you could got, stick a ninety on the back of that if you wanted to. Boat, uh. I mean, you probably could if you really wanted to. It's going to be kind of heavy, though. This one is Ooh, short. I want to uh, recommend Francis. that. Now, you see how it dips down? So this one is the 15-inch transom. If, if you're going to run, like, a bigger motor on these well builds, these guys do it. They run 90s on them all the time, but they have the full transom, the 20-inch transom, and you definitely need to do that because it's going to sit real, real low in the back if you end up putting a big motor like that on it. What do you think the heaviest motor you would run on that the way it is is? A 40. Oh, you can easily put a 40 or maybe 60. I'm probably 60. 60. I mean, you go Dude. two stroke, you get one of those, uh, those 60 Yamaha. Uh, no, you can do the 30 Yamaha triple stacks and they can turn that. You can suit them up and make them in the 90s. That's that's what, what you will really want to. They got a, a 30 horsepower Yamaha, wow. it's a triple stack carburetor. They're stacked on top of each other and you can bore them and. Uh, I, I think I have the motor. I think it's, Is it the FS? I, the FS30? Well, I got to clarify a couple things here real quick. First of all, SB Fishing used that boat. So it's very popular YouTuber. So if you want to see that boat in action, SB Fishing. But Matt just gave us some juice. You could take a 30 horsepower Yamaha and turn it into a 90. Yeah, I'm pretty positive. It's either a, you might just be able to turn it into a 60, but... It's it's a it's a specific Yamaha two stroke. It's the triple stack, and the carburetors are stacked on top of each other. There's three of them, and you can bore them out, and you can turn them into at least 60s. They, they, but it might be 75s or 90s. But those guys are running 90s on uh, 92 stroke Yamis on these 15 foot well builts all day <laughs> out in the bayous and stuff. Like they That's race insane. these things. They don't put none of this fancy shit on them. They just have the aluminum, you know, bare bones, and they they race them, but. I don't know. That's, you don't see that stuff around here. A sixty, a sixty would be a sixty would be perfect on that shit. And I have a nineteen ninety four Yamaha thirty, and it is a triple stack carburetor on it. So it it might be the it might there be the model. Go uh, look on that Value uh, Boys Facebook group. I mean, that's all they're about. There's triple stack Yamis. They'll tell you exactly how to make that thing super quick. Oh Wait, man, gosh, who is going to burn that thing up, dude? Hell yeah. Who, who is it, Matt, that you said is all about it? Uh, it's called, uh, I think it's ba ba the Bayou Boys or Backyard Bayou. Somewhere. Like I've heard of that. There's three or four different uh, Facebook groups. Yeah, there's like like a couple different Facebook groups. And some of them got like 40,000, 50,000 members in them, but that's all they do, man. They got their gator, you know, killing gators and running those boats out in, in the back. They race them place. things through. The, they the have those sex, little yeah. freaking John boat races, dude. They got those like 30 horsepower race motors on the back and they're doing like 50 miles an hour. Dude, like guys, one on the front holding like, Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Like, yeah. 
terrifying. That's like the gnarliest shit I have ever seen, dude. You know Evan would sign up for that in a heartbeat. Yeah, try, I would try that, dude. Short. I would try that shit, dude. He probably would talk you into. He'd probably try to talk you into racing just on a Tuesday afternoon. Evan you know, would like, enter his boat into it. Race? You want to race? And I would be like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you want to play chicken? <laughs> dude, we did that with Chad. He played bumper boats with Chad. He, he like, did. Hey, he ran into, into the side of me, dude. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know that's my partner. So, like, hey. Yeah. Man. Okay. yeah. Let's see. We both a little bit unfiltered. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, I sent you a picture of that boat to show you what it looks like loaded down. You sent it to Matt? I sent it to Chad and uh, the Trick Tins, Jeff Boat, John Boats, Facebook. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Matt. right. Oh, man. Mr. Matthew down to. It's but, uh, crazy. What's, how much what's that, Matt? It. I don't check that Trick Tins account too much, man. I got my own personal yeah. Facebook and then, you know, between Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube and emails and shopify man i got so many messages and stuff but i'll check it out i'll look into it man or just send it to matthew downs on facebook honestly yeah it's more likely i'll see that one man i've yeah. created a business account but that, you know how it is man you get on facebook you got two different accounts swapping through shit yeah um i've a- been working with matt on my boat build he's helped me out a lot he's not like super proud of some of the things i have done because it's not <laughs> up to his level but i gotta do what i gotta do i'm no professional but he built me some super nice hatches and gave me a lot of good advice so you can get out there on the water with it that's all that matters man yes yeah, sir dude. Yeah. absolutely and I, I i tell you what it's nice to be able to hit somebody up and then be like hey you know even if even if i didn't know matt and i just hit him up because i met him just by hitting them up and like start, you know, like, Hey, I'm trying to do this with my boat. And he started, you know, messaged me back. Like, look, man, this is what you want to do or, or try to do this or that. And got kind of guided me through it. And some things I was like, I don't know, man, I can't do all that. Like I can't, <laughs> he was like, well, if you got to rivet it, you got to rivet it. I, you know, like you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, it helped me out and gave me a lot of guidance. So super Definitely glue it, great- Rob, super glue it, baby. He was like, if you got to super glue it, man, go ahead, super glue it, dude. But I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm just saying. If you got <laughs> liquid nails, sure. dude. <laughs> Get it to float. Get it to float. But, but no, seriously, yep. a lot of guidance. And uh, the craftsmanship is just, it blew my mind, dude. They're, like the craftsmanship is uh, awesome. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, really. I, I'm did, literally bro. Been working around the clock, man. I mean, I'm on I'm on a clock, literally. Like, I'm, I got to come up with... Uh, 40 grand by the end of April to close on this house. And I'm about 15 grand into it. So I got my ways to go. I got a couple of boats to sell motors. I got motors everywhere. I got one here. I got like four more in the garage. Uh, this is my new shop. This is my, the shop I'm moving into. This thing is sick, man. Yeah. It's it got is. a big. What's burn. the square footage on that? Jesus. It's, I don't know. It's probably it's 40 by 30 or something, but it's got a, uh, Above me, I got a, a studio apartment that's fully furnished. It's bad as shit. My parents built it for my brother when he lived here like 10 years ago. And I don't think anybody's ever used it since then. But it's nice nope. as fuck up there, man. That's my little hideaway. My wife gets mad at me. I come out here. <laughs> I can stay out here forever. <laughs> <laughs> you, got the, you got the hideaway. Hey, look, with Phil Gibbons is in the area, he's probably going to be hitting you up now. He knows you got a, a available apartment over top. The, uh, yeah, right. Ever- Norfolk. Yeah, you ever go to Virginia Beach, man? No, no, not yet. You will. What do we got, uh, James River? Oh, yeah, we probably got a bunch of comments, Jay. James River. James River. Elizabeth River, that's where I fish. That's my stomping ground. That's five minutes from my house. I do oh, all my fishing yeah. out there, man. Elizabeth River. That runs by, like, downtown Norfolk and then all the way up Western Branch and all the way back out to the uh, ocean, so... James River is good too, though. But James is kind of dirty around here, man. They always got a, uh, you yeah. know, river fish, and you can't swim, and bacteria and high bacteria levels and stuff. So I don't really go out to James very much. Yeah, I definitely hate fish out of there. Hank Hank Parker won a classic on the James River, but it was probably down well, this way. Yeah, only uh, seventy years ago. 
It was 1970. Look, Chad, shut up. <laughs> I'm old. So I remember it. So. <laughs> hey, we got any comments, Chad? Uh, no, not too many new comments. No. Three-cylinder Yamahas. Duck hunters love the three-cylinder Yamahas. That was from Joe Manon. There you go. Oh, they that do, man. They yeah, like yeah. Eat lots of torque, and you can upgrade them easily. So. Somebody that's kind of like... I'm sorry, Matt. Now, that's, those, the, all the two-stroke Yamis, like before they came out with all these newer outboards that are upgradable just by switching out the ECUs and the computers in them, like that's what everybody ran. And those things are... You can't kill those motors, and you can upgrade them and make them fast. They're lightweight. They got tons of torque. They're two-stroke. They sound like a, a – I mean, they, they're a motor. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of this stuff now has got so many electronics and different uh, components that go into it that are destined to fail. You, the, you, can't, you can't go wrong with one of those old two-stroke Yamis, man. You really can't. It's like, a, it's like an old 12-valve Cummins. Well, yeah, dude. I mean – Last forever. You know, Greg, our, our friend Greg Hall, he's a mechanic. And uh, when I was having all those problems with my Mercury, because I've been through three Mercury motors, he was like, get a Yamaha. That yeah, was his yeah. advice to me. And he's a mechanic, so. They're good motors. Yeah, get a Yamaha. That's what he told me. So. You going to finish your boat up uh, in time to fish this year, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm almost there, man. I'm almost there, dude. I'm almost there. Yeah, so is spring. I'm going to have to, look. I'm gonna Yo, have to he only, down. like, lit it on fire on accident and, like, just, you know. He lit it I, on fire and was like, oh, shit, hold on. My insurance isn't on it yet. No, I wasn't calling insurance company for that. It was total negligence on my part. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh. Did I you have a more. breaker in the boat? Uh, what? I do uh, now. No. <laughs> <laughs> But no, honestly, uh, I never had a breaker on the winch was the whole problem. And, and I didn't know the positive. But that's been solved. That's all fixed. I got to finish the deck. And I'm probably going to have to go and break down and buy some some sheet aluminum to finish the deck up. And then I almost hit you up, Matt. like Because I know we, we got to talk already. But I, I was like, you know the last hat you sent me? One more of that size, yeah. dude. Like, I don't know if you've seen on the pictures. I like, the exact same that I sent you. I can send you another one. There's literally, I made two of them by mistake. It's, I got another one the same size, but that'll work. I could use another Source. one, dude. I could use another one to hit me up on Friday. Same size, dude. Honestly. Like, it's if exactly you see the pictures. Size. I'll send it to you tomorrow. The, the, one that, the one that you sent me, I didn't wind up using where we talked about. What the, what the heck just happened, Chad? I don't know what you did, dude, but this was Ooh. great. Can, can everybody else see this? Or just, I just lost. <laughs> is it just me that's seeing this? I didn't even drink tonight. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Matt's gone. Oh, 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 no, no, he's back. <laughs> I clicked. Are you guys still on my end? <laughs> Phil did this? It said, it said, Oh, on my end, it just said change your view because I just wanted to see if I could change so I was in the bottom corner to block my camera. Can you change and it back? <laughs> it's, some, uh, look how dog, tiny dude. Chad is now, dude. Like, what the hell, dude? I wonder if I could disappear. Oh, no, man. maybe I didn't do anything. I don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't do we it. might have to end this now, Chad, because I don't know what the hell's going on, dude. No, yeah, that's not me because I changed. Like, look, Chad's not even saying anything. He's like, I, I can't hear Chad. We can't hear you, Chad. It's something on his end, Chad. It's your end because I just clicked all the same buttons I just did a second ago, and nothing happened. But honestly, Matt, so like, because you can still hear me, I didn't put that hatch in the place we talked about. Like, I still fit one in the place we talked about. That makes sense. Same well, size. If you want a different size one or something, just let me know, man. Nah, same size, dude. Same size of work. I was going to actually text you yesterday about it. Uh, and then uh, we'll settle up. Like, we'll, we'll... Chad, yeah, man, what, are, what are we doing, bro? Like, Okay, look, we can't even hear you. I think I just heard him. No, that was me. 
Oh, <laughs> talk like you're Chaddy. <laughs> this is Seabass from Bass Bear no, Radio. I don't know what I'm doing. What do I do with my hands right now? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, play with the ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Flick it like a light switch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's fast that's fast a beer after dark right there. She dude. says no, no, no. I don't know what he, I don't know what Chad did. Something's his name says live dot C D dot thirty five. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh four seven. It said you changed the screen, Chad. It says live it's dot scene. Oh the scene. I'm sorry. The scene. Yeah. It says, it scene. Yeah. It says scene. together mode has been enabled for this call. Together we're, together, we're all in this together, Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know that was the name. You know the Wu Tang Clan. That was their original name. We're all in this together. Wow. No, that's High School Musical. Crazy High School Musical. <laughs> you guys hear me now? They're a lot like Wu Tang Clan. What? Right here, you know? yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. What the f- just happened? <laughs> Dude, I had a question for Matt too. That, uh, because he lives in Norfolk. Did you see all that crap that happened here today? Right down the street from my house, the, the bridge collapsing. Yeah, man. That's like final destination. Man, that was, that was crazy. He heard about it. I stopped at Royal Farms after taking Rose home to her mom's house, and there were news people there from all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, I'll man. Bet. I can't believe it's not there no more. It's insane. Like when I look at it, I'm like, there's no bridge there no more. Yeah, it looks like Travis Pastrana's about to set up a jump and jump across. Oh, dude, he should do that. <laughs> he probably would try it too. I don't know if you know who Travis Pastrana is. It is. But, it's uh, just. It's too soon. <laughs> Travis Pastrana yeah, was a, missing man. Uh, it's just sad. You're missing people out there. Yeah, there really you know is, and. uh but like I was saying earlier, one dude, he he they, he walked it off. He was like, "No, nah, I'm good." Like they rescued him, and he was like, "I don't need to go to the hospital, and I'm good," and just walked it off. Like, dude, it was how many feet did he fall? It's, uh-huh. it's so high, driving across it. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's good. he had that adrenaline rush. He knew he was getting paid. He ain't gonna have to work again a day in his life. Dude, that no. dude was gangster. That's the other dude, dude was the other dude was discharged from the hospital I, just a couple hours later. Like he's. He's okay too. Like it. Like, I mean, there's obviously you. people that lost their lives in the accident, but uh, those guys that walked away from it the same day, those are gangsters. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't want to meet yes. them on the wrong day. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unfortunately, there's still search and rescue still going on. Prayers go out to everybody. Of course. Um, I don't know, man. It's been what. I don't even know how many hours since it happened. Not a, not a day yet. It's been <sighs> yeah, eighteen hours, something like that. I drove over yesterday, and then would have drove over today. Hope for the best. It was high tide, I believe, when it happened. So the tide's going out. So they might want to like check a little. You know, you never know. So hopefully, and prayers go out to the family. So I don't know. It it was crazy. Like I didn't believe it. My aunt called me from Virginia. And she saw it on news. She calls me like three o'clock in the morning, and I was like, "Well, you've been drinking? Like, what are you talking about?" Like, she was like, "No, the have you watched the news? The bridge collapsed." And I was like, "There's no way the bridge freaking collapsed." Insane. It did. Totally terrible, man. Terrible. Um, that shit is tough. But hey, look, guys, I got to run, man. I got work to do, man. I just wanted to check in with you guys, see what's up, man. I'll hop on with you guys again, though. It's always a good time. Dude, everything looks great. Good Matt talking to you, Bills. Matt. Thanks for joining, brother. Nice yeah, meeting you, Phil. You too, man. See you, brother. Hey, good night, Rob. Holler at me tomorrow. Got you. All right. All right hey, Chad, can you so, fix this view? Or, like, what's going on, man? It's fine on my end. It's good Is on it? my end. Do I got a refresh or something? Because I still got the little strip going yeah. across. No, I fixed it. I fix it over here, dude. It looks <laughs> fine on mine. What the hell? When did you fix it, Chad? If I can find my, I can't even find my the mouse. Traffic so. was fucked, and it's going to be bad for a long time. Dude, that's the messed up part too, man. Like, I don't know. I can't fix the view, but I can. If it looks fine on y'all, I can see me up in the corner. Look, I look fine. 
Go to the top right where it says view, and you can click whatever you want it. Oh, that's probably what it is. Huh? You but, can uh, click speaker view. There we go. Got it. Got I'm it. probably about ready to cut this off myself. Anyways, yeah, me too, dude. I got to get to sleep, man. I got a busy day at work. So I, I work right by there. Like, the my residence. That cat's about to attack you, bro. Hmm? No, I had him earlier. He's cool. Dude, that cat's about to maul your face, dude. That's not true. Look, man, see this guy right here with the blue shirt on? Can you so, hear us? So remember his us? face. No, right there, him. Look at him. Look at him. When I say attack, you attack him. That's a um, pet cougar, bro. Yeah, he's cool. That's my buddy right here, man. Look. He's like, let me fucking go. Hey, you did you so you guys know I have my drone license. Did you see that there's a TFR, a temporary flight restriction out? No. no. Mm -hmm. I put it in my story. Why? So what happens if Not you fly flight. your drone? Do they do they fly out like a fighter jet to take it out? No, you're gonna get probably spoken to. Yeah, I was gonna say why didn't I, I wasn't asking why they put it in the story. I was asking why do they have the restriction? Just everybody flying the drones around? It says it's only for uh, search and rescue right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of makes sense, dude. I think absolutely. I was, I was so, watching like, on the news and they was like, because they were asking like, I don't know, the Department of like Motor Vehicles or whoever, and they was like asking all these questions like, did the boat drop its anchor? Did it do this? And they were telling them like, well, the most important thing right now is search and rescue. Yeah. We'll, we'll look into how this happened and why it happened later but right now let's focus on seeing if we can still save some lives so which so i i've been at the, i was at the playground andy's playground like pretty much all day today it was fun so i don't really know much about what i'll tell you what i think i know are six people missing i believe so yeah That's uh, what that, I, on, heard. From I heard it was i heard side. it was 20 minus two well it's 18 they know six i think and I could be wrong, so this is all just. But from what I understand, nobody knows. Like nobody knows. There was like eight construction workers, and I think they're pretty sure there was, and six of those are still missing. But I did yeah, see. Um, I'm sure there was the some fire. more cars coming across the bridge too. I know it was 1:30 in the morning, but I'm sure it no, wasn't an empty bridge. They called a uh, when the first power went out. They called like a mayday, stop traffic kind of deal. Yeah, but it was like very, very quick. Like uh, they had like thirty seconds or a minute or like thirty seconds or something, and they tried to hurry up and get everybody yeah, off. The you bridge ever been across the bridge? bridge? You ever drive across the bridge when the boat's going across it? Mm -hmm. It's sketchy enough. Like I you, could... you go. It goes through your head. Like, dude, if this guy hits this thing, you couldn't. He could not hit it more perfectly to take. Because it's like if you look at the picture, you have this pillar. And you have this pillar and the longest stretch of the entire bridge. And he took out one of those pillars. So it's just, you know what I mean? Like, That's damn. Perfect. It could have not been. It was like Final Destination. It's like, it's like how, how the hell, like, for that to ever happen again, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, I mean, I don't know. You got better chances of probably winning the lottery or something than that ever happening. But so it who drives a boat in that situation? Is it the the boat company's captain or is it a bay pilot? Well, see, that's the thing. They're looking into all that. Nobody knows really what's when, what the hell really happened. When I did a cruise, I've done two of them. I believe the boat crossed the key bridge and then the, the little boat came up to it and the bay pilot came on and drove us all the way down out past the bay bridge and then got off tugboat yeah i don't know if there was yeah. tugboats involved or not like i i don't know i have no idea i don't know either i'm not i don't know either and they're not saying a whole lot about that kind of things yet they're just more focused on you know see if there's any more survivors and they said i did see that the fire department said they could see on their sonar that there's some vehicles under the water well, of course i'm sure you know Obviously, they're probably well. If there were lanes closed, there were construction vehicles up there too. Mm -hmm. Luckily, those guys were on their break and they were in their vehicles. Because I'm imagining if they were out, like walking around when it happened, that could have been worse. The vehicle might have made the impact a little worse than just free falling. You know what I mean? 
I yeah, guess. You're strapped onto something. Right. Strapped Maybe. onto what's falling. Yeah, that may have helped a little bit. Because you imagine it's like, dude, I can't even imagine, like, like how, what's what? a high bridge? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's, that's scary, dude. I don't know. I'll probably. Hey, uh, you know that uh, that dude that stripped or, or, or streaked the Orioles game? Was running around like Essex and all with a speedo. I didn't see that, but that's hilarious. <laughs> all right, so he does crazy stuff, and I was telling him he should do a stunt where he jumps with his speedo on from the key bridge onto a cruise ship. <laughs> what you gonna do it? He can't do it now. He can't do it now. Yeah, but that would be crazy. You just drop a rope, and you need like a picture of rope, and you'd be fine. I can't, I can't, I was going to say, I can't even imagine how those guys that survived, survived that fall. It is very it's high. So high. Yeah. Like, it good Lord. Dude. I salute those, those guys, man. Like, wow. Like, man. Can you imagine going through that? I'm I, Just go home, eat some dinner. Like, I mean, like what do you do after that? Dude, right. I would be haunted, like, for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be able to walk. I'd be like, oh, like, what, what the hell? Just, this is like, I don't, he, the one dude said he didn't even need no medical attention. I'm good. Like, what the hell? Like, who does that? Because I would have been, like, he trying to Wait, 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 wait. Maybe he didn't fall. Maybe he was on the part, you know, how the bridge no, is like this. They rescued him. Oh, maybe you're right. They did never actually say okay. they rescued him. Because okay, I'm gonna say, minutes. I'm gonna say, if anyone go outside, tell, that bridge is like uh, right. Alexa. <laughs> how high is the Baltimore Francis Scott Key Bridge? The Francis Scott Key Bridge is zero inches above sea level. Well, fuck. Four inches? I could survive that. Zero inches above sea level. That's a very quick update. It's like a hundred and some feet. I think. <laughs> That's a very quick update. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Yo, Amazon. did that just happen live on the show? <laughs> the Francis Scott Key Bridge is now zero inches above sea level. Hey, Amazon, if you want us to delete uh, that I, out, we got to uh, talk some business. The Francis Scott Key Bridge. The Francis Scott Key Bridge is zero inches above sea level. Oh my God. See it. Stock market news. Would you like me to do that? It tells me it's zero feet or zero inches above sea level, and then recommends stock market news. <laughs> I can get my boat under that then. Sure. Well, it's not wrong. <laughs> well, now, or oh, maybe that. That's what I'm saying. That bitch got updated in just a couple of hours. Yeah. It's like a. What is it? It's gotta be like it, the water's fifty foot deep. 50 to 60 foot 185 feet, feet yeah, built in 1972. It cost 60 million dollars to make it. That was then. Yeah, you might be right, Phil. Maybe he didn't actually fall in and he was still like on the bridge and, and got, yeah, got rescued. 185 feet. That's, that's how- just from the that's just from the 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 top, like the, the lowest portion to the water. All right. I got to I got to tune out of this thing. My dog is probably right, going to show on the floor. Oh, mine too. Dude, all right, cool. See you guys. <laughs> I got a cat. <laughs> Rob's like I got a cat. He shits on the floor in the house anyways. All right, see you guys.